know, it's kind of unusual that, you know, we didn't stop to get food on the way like we normally would. Mm-hmm. I thought about it, and I was like, yeah, just get gas. Fuck it. Just get the gas. Get the gas. <laughs> so I, wish, I recently switched to um, P Cloud. Mm-hmm. We're recording, by the way. Oh, cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I got lured in by their offer. Uh, P Cloud, for anyone who doesn't know, is like a. It, it, I'm pretty sure P Cloud stands for Privacy Cloud. Because mm-hmm. it makes sense. Or it's cloud. PP Cloud. PP Cloud. A cloud, cloud of cloud urine. Of piss. Cloud of piss. <laughs> Planet piss. Um, but yeah, I, I, I did that. It's $475 I spent for a two terabyte lifetime drive with an encryption folder. So you guys can't see my nudes. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it seems to be pretty nice. So I, I'm liking it. So if you guys are like looking for a cloud storage solution where they don't mine all your data, check out pCloud. No, this is not a sponsored purse, by the way. We're not getting money from them because, you know, we don't have an audience. We have like five people who listen. We thank you. Yeah. We love you. But that's it. That's all we got. We See got that one. Steam is getting that... that uh, they're getting an upgrade. They're getting an upgrade. Code overhaul. A yeah. Visual overhaul to look a little nicer, I guess. I don't know. I mean... I, th- I like I was sitting there reading and hearing about it. I think uh, I was watching Jim Sterling. He was no Jim Sterling. I don't know, dude. I watched so many different things. Um, one of them were talking about how they were uh, going to um, focus more on curating content and putting things like for it and and all mm-hmm. that, trying to get content to your face. I don't believe that in the heartbeat. No, I mean, no. With um, Steam, I maybe I, you know now that Epic is kind of, I won't call it legitimate. Um, competition. I guess no, it, no. it is uh, sort of in a way. There's a lot of negative press f- about Epic. Uh, I keep hearing things about how terrible their um, password security is. Yeah, uh, like people are ha- constantly. Uh, I somebody mean, somebody said uh, he's gotten over uh, ten or twelve emails. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can definitely attest. Keeps to telling that. him somebody's trying to get into his account. Yeah, I can definitely attest to that. Where it was back a while back, and back when Fortnite was really, really big and huge. Mm-hmm. Where I was getting, uh, I probably in a week span got around 12, 14 emails. Like, yeah. That sounds about right. Where someone was I know, I got like two or three. Like, And I didn't even have a, a, like, I had an Epic account, but not a PC Epic account. I never I never did anything with Fortnite on PC. I had just downloaded on uh, my Switch. Yeah. And I was I got an email or two. Um, I, I got know, more people, with people Minecraft. Want, but people want that Fortnite account, man. Yeah, they want the V Bucks, man. They got to get the V Bucks. Got to get now, their V Bucks. They're like heroin. Now they're trying to get in for you know trying to get access to people's game libraries and stuff. Which I guys, if you're gonna try to hack my app, I don't have shit. Yeah. Like I don't. I don't even like my Fortnite account has like <laughs> three matches played. Yeah. And I lost two of them. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like. <laughs> don't don't look. Don't don't even bother with me. It's not worth the trouble. Just let it go. Yeah. You know. Just, yeah, just let it go. I don't I, I'm not gonna support their store anytime soon, especially No, no, I mean I definitely I don't plan on really it. don't like the idea of um the review thing, the way that they uh companies can opt in to whether or not the review their games will show up uh having reviews by the people who buy the games. No. Yeah, no. it's uh, kind of defeats the purpose of reviews. That's like that's so. Like, it's like if your reviews coming out bad, nah, take them out, take them down. We don't we, want those. Yeah, we we don't want the reviews. We we don't have the reviews. Yeah, we have the best reviews. There's exactly there's I mean there's kind of problems with Steam where now um, Steam's doing some curating with uh, if you leave a negative review for a game or like the review bombing stuff, they're, yeah, they're yeah. taking steps against that. And then if you leave negative reviews for a game that uh, are because of things outside the game, like if the developer is doing something that pisses you off, things yeah, like that's things to start removing those. Yeah, which I'm kind of. There's a lot of people arguing like, oh, that's silencing free speech. Okay, I'm okay, like, okay. Nah, but this no, is a private company, so yeah, yeah, it's like, not. Free speech does not have to off. do with people. It does yeah. not have to do with corporations like that. It has to do with the government. Yeah. Free speech means the government cannot censor you. Exactly. That doesn't mean that Twitter can't go, you're an asshole. We don't want to hear from you anymore. Exactly. So, you know. It, like, uh, or YouTube can't get, yeah. take down all these anti-vax and, videos and things like that. 
It's like like that's or, not that's not how it works. Everybody wants to cry freedom of speech, and while yeah. I am completely anti censorship, at the same yeah. time, if you're being an asshole, you can't be mad at people for saying we don't want to hear your asshole. Get the fuck out. Exactly. You know, like come um, on. it's you know when it's just you have a difference of opinion, that's when it's you know it's not good. Right. But again, it's you're using their platform. Right. Uh, if it's your there's just, a term of service that you agree to. Exactly. If you violate that term of service, or if they decide you violate the yeah. term of service, as oppressive and shitty and Orwellian as that sounds, yeah. that's how it works. And I'm not saying they're right. No, not at um, all. But it's kind of that. Well, they control all the stuff, and I don't know. It's it's it, it, that's a whole different uh, problem. But with Steam reviews, it's just okay. So they're they're looking at your review and saying y- you hate this company because somebody got up there and said we want equality. In our workplace, yeah. or you got it. They got up there, and maybe they said, "We don't want equality in the workplace. We only want and white you've, people." You've, yeah, and yeah. you've review bond them. Okay, Steam's going to look at that and go, "This has nothing to do with the game. We're taking your review is not going to count towards the score." That's what it was. It wouldn't count towards the score, and they yeah. were going to make it so you could uh, switch back and forth. But it's not as simple as like going to the store page. You have to go through Steam settings and go and find the setting for that. Wow. There's like six steps. I was like, that's kind of shitty. But that's a lot of work. Yeah, but I I kind of I get it. I, I I'm yeah, not yeah. I'm not completely opposed to that. I like the idea of uh, if I'm reading a review of a game, I want to know if the game is good. Yeah. I don't care about the same thing. Like we didn't even touch on it with our Captain Marvel review, but there's this whole shit storm about that. Yeah, they did like the, with the, Brie Larson, which stuff she said, which I mean, she did. She's didn't. I think I think she meant better what, than what she said. Yeah, she she basically wanted to like include more people. Yeah, and she didn't want to just keep like going to the same old hat and and being sitting there and, and interviewing well, with the same. No, old no, people. no. It wasn't even the interviewing. I'm talking about the. Um, she got on stage and was talking about um, reviews. Yeah, reviewers and how they're majority um, old white men. And she wanted more other people to do it because when you're talking about the interviews, uh, like I was watching a whole video that's like just like just uh, every review, interview after interview is like a woman, woman of color, dude, gay dude, black dude, just uh, all these. It's like the interview space is full of yeah, di- right. it's it's quite a bit more diverse. Um, but the the review space is mostly old older white guys that are on like Rotten Tomatoes and verified reviewers. And she was specifically talking shit about. Um, that she didn't care what their opinion of um, that uh, Wrinkle in Time, the yeah. Disney movie, right. that came out and got really bad reviews. Uh, turns out it's a terrible movie. It's not a good movie. Where she wouldn't say that when it's a review of something like um, Moonlight yeah, from the year before. Right. And that's a bunch of old white dudes who are a movie that's about gay rights and gay acceptance. And the black community... And they're all praising the shit out of the movie. Why? Because it's a good fucking movie. Oh my god! It has nothing no. to do Dude, with. Yeah. I will. I will always sing the praise of that movie. I sat down and watched it. It was a fantastic movie. Um, and it's like, uh, and it's like when they review a kids' movie. Yeah. They're not. They're not reviewing it as if like, oh, I'm this old, you know educated white dude let me see if this this lives up to my no they're reviewing it as is this a good kids movie yes or no yeah yeah it's not, it's not it's just, I'm sure there are some that are assholes that are up there like mm, no 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 this homosexuality is a sin but they're on like the fucking um like they're, they're, Mormon Star newspaper or some shit like that. Like I don't, I, I why would you even? They're Mormons. not even. They might. They maybe they're they're throwing the Rotten Tomatoes curb a little bit. But yeah. it's like it's so I I don't think and I don't really put a lot on her. I think yeah. it was just she was trying to get a thought out there that and her wooden acting skills did not help her in it. No no no, no <laughs> yeah. So it's like I think she was trying to get that thought out and then there's a bunch of the fucking people on the internet who are like, oh, she hates men. She doesn't want men to do things ever." And it's like, "No, I don't." Okay, I I want to throw this out there. Yeah. Um, I'm a man and I hate men. Yeah. So I, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I hate, I hate Pete. Like there's a lot of I stupid people fucking in people. General, yeah, but I hate yeah. men. Like the yeah. guy that we had to deal with last night who didn't want to fucking accept that the jewelry counter was closed because oh, it was Jesus almost Christ. fucking midnight, guys. It was almost midnight. Yeah. How this, you close a thing I want? Let me get thing. No. 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 This That's is the only cool. time my job lets me off. Motherfucker, are you telling me you work 14 hours a day for seven days a week? Yeah. Okay, here's the problem. One, either it's illegal and you need to report your employer, or two, you're doing it on purpose. Yeah. Which is not illegal, but it's still your fucking fault. Yeah. Like that's all your fault. Time. I can't. I can't control this. But if, if I tell you a jewelry counter is closed, 
You don't want to make money, huh? We're not making money on a fucking part of the store that's not open anyway. Yeah. We're not making money on a part of the store that's not doing business. <laughs> so no, I don't want to make money because we're not anyway. Yeah, it's it's fucking closed. It's just it's done, dude. Just, I, just let I, it go. <laughs> it's like <laughs> stupid shit pisses me off. I get it. And it's like I had somebody same thing, not for jewelry, but <laughs> it was now it's Walmart. It's uh, work bitch time. Yeah, you're gonna have to listen to us, bitch. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, but this uh, is free somebody for came up at I don't know. It was close to midnight, a little bit later than I think that guy because I was doing some other stuff, and they wanted a money order. I'm like, I'm sorry, no. that's that's close to ten o'clock, and they're like, oh, this is bullshit. Your customer service is terrible. I'm like, it's closed at ten o'clock everywhere. It was like Myers is closed at ten, Kroger's closed at nine or ten. It was like store down the streets closed at ten. Nobody's open that late. Nobody's standing there. And the people, I, I'm just glad I had some younger people in my line because this is, I, I do believe, mostly a generational thing. Is the younger people who got like, why the fuck would you have somebody standing up there until midnight just waiting around for the one person who wants to do a fucking money pickup? That, that same thing applies to like when when they make the argument. It's just crazy. You have all these registers. Why aren't there people at them? Because do we don't have, have people shopping. Uh, <laughs> do you have any idea how a business runs? Yeah. Do you have any idea how much it would cost to man all 26 registers mm-hmm. at once for, like, four people a day? Like, yeah. do, you, do you understand how stupid the question is? For, like, that one is? hour that yeah. we're, that's that busy? For the 15 minutes we need those registers mm-hmm. open? Like, come on, dude. Like, it just doesn't work that way. It, it can't work that way. I get what you're trying to – I get what you're, the point you're trying to make. Unfortunately, you're trying to make it in a profoundly stupid way. And on top of that, it's well, like you not, see not all of these self-checkouts. They're trying to eliminate the amount of people. Like, if you know, if is, that's not clear to you. Right. That's – I don't know. I don't care. Let's just move on. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, with the, the fucking the, the Brie Larson thing, I, I, I don't know. I, I don't take that into when I'm viewing a product. Like a game yeah. or anything like that. Yeah. Like uh, CD Projekt Red is a good example. Their Twitter has gotten in trouble a few times for saying things that some I, I, some of it's like – Some of it's dumb though. Like, it's dumb, but at the same time, I from hearing the other side of the argument, I'm like, okay, I kind of get – I get why that would – that would, you right. know, would – some people would take that and it you know, would offend them or, or things like that where it's not – this isn't a comedy sketch. This isn't like a – I'm fully – like I'll let anybody do whatever joke they want. It's just at the same time, sometimes you are going to You're gonna offend people. You're gonna offend people. And yeah. if it's not funny, it's even worse. I mean, I, I've pretty much embraced that whole idea yeah. with the podcast and with with being anything resembling a public figure where I just know I'm gonna piss somebody off with something oh, I say. God, yeah. I I've already done it even before I was Famous because I'm not famous. No, right? I'm never no will famous. Be. We're just now throwing our bullshit out into the public. But like, like it's one of those things where I, I know I'm going to do it and it's going to happen. And that's why, like, when I when I talk to people about things and when I have younger friends of mine, mm-hmm. I tell them you, you're just going to have to get used to this. Like, really, you you know, you're bla- you're a young black man. You're going to have to get used to racist old white dudes. You're going to have to get used to this stuff because it's just that's how it is. That's literally just how it is. That's how the world is, and while people are trying to change it, it's a very slow change. And while I applaud, because we change, gotta wait for a lot of people to die off. Well, we just sure be the fuck do. Fucking completely. <laughs> there's a there's a lot of dying off that needs to happen. There's a lot of and old white a lot, people need to die. And there's a lot of people that I think need to grow the fuck up. Um, oh my god. There's a lot of the internet, and I'll be honest, I was one of those people. Yeah. I was right there. Something we talked about a few weeks. No, we didn't. Uh, I don't know if we talked about it where they were on eight chan. Um, uh, to to oh yeah, it was it was one of the uh, one of the um, it was the developers some game some game game studio went on to do they, an AMA so on yeah Fight so they got a, a, like why their, yeah and why it's would you insane do that? but I mean you know and they're talking about the shit they posted and all this stuff but I mean I I'm not gonna lie I was there when I was fucking 13, 14, 15, 16 in uh, 4chan like thinking I was uh, fucking an edge lord, like a little old trolling like I fucking definitely mean, the I, dumbest shit in the world I definitely went through my phase of trolling it was yeah. my, I never went to 4chan in fact back during my early days of cringy troll lol fest mm. um, I, I was unaware 4chan existed yeah. And looking back, was, I'm kind of I'm kind of glad that I, I was wasn't. deep in. <laughs> you were deep in. Oh yeah, no, I was. But, uh, I, I still remember. I found 
I found it through, and actually the funny thing is how I found it was the cringiest fucking way possible, is I didn't find about 4chan until um, fucking Gaia Online. I had an account on that website. Yeah. Somebody at high school, friends of mine who were into anime, were like, you should get on these forums. You should do this. This is fun. And for some reason, even though I really am not, I was not big into anime, it was an online thing that I found. And I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. I like this. There's fucking, there's games. It's like you have your little avatar and shit. (laughs) So I started fucking around with that. And then through that, there was somebody who's like, it was just some like crazy, like, like, um, what was being posted? Just like fucking Bane random Goatee. shit like Goatsy and like oh, yeah. stuff like that's being posted in these forums I'm like what the fuck is all of this this is and some of it you know trolling and it, it was like this is kind of at first it's like this is fucking stupid what is this, this bullshit and then it turned into this is funny <laughs> and it was like, like somebody's like I'll just ignore it it's fucking a raid from 4chan I'm like what is this 4chan <laughs> <laughs> fucking look that who shit who is up. this 4chan and then I'm like oh wait I've been here somebody linked this when I was looking at Entei threads yeah yeah <laughs> and threads years ago and i'm like i know this i know a little bit of this and that's just how it fucking started in years i was like because i still remember when they were raiding the habo raids yeah and everybody was (laughs) everybody created a black avatar with a giant afro and a suit and then they would go and they would form swastikas with the characters oh Oh, my god it was awful but it's that it's that edgelord kind of shit that you just have to grow out of and I I look back on some of it's still funny like the the, just the swastika of dancing black dudes with afros in the middle of this kids game I can totally see that being funny because it's just it's just an absurd image the the uh there was a a place where there was like a little pool and the characters you would go into the pool so you could stand in front of the ladder and block the pool and be just all day people would be there from 4chan saying pools closed due to AIDS <laughs> <laughs> and people were drawing art and there were flash videos and just that was the fucking that was like the first time I ever saw trolling in that form Yeah, and trolling in general and it was just like I was like, this is the coolest shit ever, I'm fucking edgy and yeah, it was just, I, that was I, the shit I eventually grew, grow out of I, that, and I think there's a lot of people that need to grow out of some of the just dumb shit. I, that, that reminds me. Um, and it's just a little short thing, but I saw a, a post on our green text mm-hmm. where it said, um, we're, we're basically talking about that. Like, guys, I think all our ironic Nazi posing has attracted actual oh, yeah. Nazis. No like, way. I don't know if we, we talked about it on the podcast at all, but 100%. Yeah. Like, poll on 4chan used to be, and I mean, it spread from B, which is the random board, but that used to be the, the funny LOL jokey shit. Yeah. Um, they would talk about being either Nazis or commies. And that was that was like, ha, I'm so edgy, I'm a Nazi, blah, blah, blah. Hitler yeah. did nothing wrong. Um, that legitimately started attracting people. And I think some of it was, uh, now going back to it, I think some of it was Russian bots. Uh, that's one of the places they started was places like 4chan and then oh, yeah, spreading yeah, into sure. Facebook and things like that. And there's still threads about um, the Russian um, Orthodox Church going and starting a crusade and going through the Middle East. Jesus and I'm like, Christ. how much is this? And I'm now looking back, I'm like, how much is that was fucking like implanted if that was Russian bots and Russian like um, infiltrators or and how much is that just stupid fucking Joe Schmo in his basement deciding to like you know Deus Volt kind of thing but um, they attracted people that legitimately believe that and it blew up and it things happened like we have a meme for a president now and I mean, just the all right, all right, everything, all right. it, it, it spiraled out of control. And now with the shit that happened in New Zealand, that's that uh, honestly, unfortunately, that's the ultimate culmination of it. Yeah. Is you fucking have brought in psychopaths and now people are like, you've kind of, uh, them. it was a joke. Everything I did was a joke. I'm out. Bye. Like there's been Scott a lot of posts of that. Oh yeah. That fucking, that was awful. All right. So let's move on to something funny. <laughs> well, maybe not funny. I find it funny. It's terrible. Um, and it's, I was sitting here and I read this before. I read this before I decided. But more news than stupid. Yeah. New York Post is uh, back on the 16th, so uh, seven days ago, last week. Mm-hmm. Um, a 320 pound woman gets life sentence for sitting on a smothering girl. Just I should nuts. not laugh at that, but I find that hilarious. <laughs> um, can you guess where it came from? Florida. Yes. Of course. 
I didn't even I didn't even realize like there was no yeah. connection there. But yeah, Pensacola, Florida, a Florida woman has been sentenced Jesus to life Christ. in prison for killing her nine year old cousin sitting on her as a form of punishment. The Pensacola News Journal reports that sixty six year old Veronica Green Posey was sentenced Friday after jurors convicted her of first degree felony murder. Prosecutors say Derek and Lindsay had suffered horrific beatings from Posey and Lindsay's adoptive parents, Grace James and Grace Smith. So if you know those people, shame the fuck out of them. Yeah. Officials say Posey sat on Derricka for more than five minutes in October 2017, so it took them a year and a half to sit there and, and charge her. Yeah. Um, Which is about what it, you know what it takes yeah. for th- murder cases and things like that. It's, but it's like insane. It's, it's not quick. Uh, Posey's attorney said the 320-pound woman was trying to help the Smith and didn't intend to hurt Derricka. You fucking sat on her! You were I'm just trying to help them control their girl that they no. beat half to death constantly. No. Fuck you, you piece of shit. I hope you get killed in, in, in prison. I really fucking do. I hope the bitch gets killed in prison. It's, like, come on, man. Um, stuff like that just pisses me off. Anyway, James Smith, the adoptive father, was previously sentenced to 10 years for his role in Derek's death. Grace mm-hmm. Smith still faces charges, but is currently mentally and physically unfit to stand trial. So I sucks. wonder, that actually sounds pretty like I, I might have heard that story, you know, a year ago or something, or months ago, like a little bit, because or it's just unfortunate that we hear stories about yeah, adoptive I mean, parents I think, and I think abusing this, their kids and yeah. stuff every once in a while. I mean, it's like that, uh, like that, that uh, the the bitch behind um, that YouTube channel. Yeah, that YouTube yep. channel. That, I was just uh, about to bring that up. Where where you know she was abusing the kids, sexually assaulting some of them, getting them yeah. to make like videos and shit. Like, what the fuck is wrong with people? Like, oh, seriously, my God. That, what is wrong that with whole you? Thing. Like, like, what is it that's so broken inside of you that that's what you turn to for, I don't even know, I guess, I guess making money? Yeah, it's... Has money broken us as people that much? Like, that's what we're going to do to? Some people it does. I completely... It's why I... I like how our I podcast really, turned into soapboxing. Uh, again, yeah. I mean, it's it's not really soapbox. It's, don't beat children. It's not It's not really a soapbox. It's <laughs> well, more yes, like but, bringing but we're, this... We're, what we're doing right now is we're standing and preaching. <laughs> money is the root of all sins, God damn it. No, so but, give me your money and I will yeah. absolve you of your sins. Exactly. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> I wonder who started that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but, um... What what is it? L. Ron Hubbard said, "If you want to be uh, if you want to be rich, do a thing. But if you want to be wealthy, wealthy start a religion. Start a religion. Yep. Yeah. So I mean, and then he was on, run from tax evasion the rest of his life. Yep. <laughs> Fantastic fellow. That's, oh that God, founded L. Ron Hubbard, psycho. But he's he was like a genius. He's like Dude's a fucking genius. A fucking genius, yeah. like a, a crazy genius. God, his books were terrible though. Oh um, man! Did we talk about the college bribe situation? <laughs> I, I don't know if we brought that up. I find no, that, it kind of funny. That, that is hilarious. Um, like, apparently, no, we did because we were talking about, it and I was like, "Did people not know this was happening?" I mean, seriously, how do you not know this is happening? Why are you surprised by it? Exactly. You know? Well, what kills me not only the surprise, and I might have said this, but it's like this is this is like the middle class version of this. No, yeah. it's not middle class because these are no, still this is definitely eight hundred thousand dollars and things like that. Yeah, you're talking about but the thousand. actual, yeah, the actual, uh, the 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 higher end of this is when they donate buildings. Yeah, and they donate fucking like million dollar. Yeah, yeah. When you sit there, and you auditoriums look at, you look and at, things. You look at the Harvard graduates who are now like multi millionaires and multi billionaires. Yeah, and they're sitting there like paying for like a library. Or like another wing yeah. onto, or a, their a, their parents fraternity. have their names on a building, and of course yeah, they yeah. get to go. Well, to that's school. what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Like where the parents are like they're buying another wing of the library, mm-hmm. or they're expanding this. Like, yeah, it's the same fucking thing. Yeah, it's just going through this one shady coach here who is forging shit to make people think that they're doing things they're really not. Yeah. So it's like, how do you not? How do you not know that that's oh, a yeah, thing? Yeah, we know that's happening. Like the Skull and Bones it's Society. Like, it's like, okay, it's like here. here's the surpri- level of surprise it is for me. Yeah. It's like when you have a pastor or some sort of government official who sits there and lambasts like, gays, and then you later find out he's sucking dick behind, like, the, tw- like you know, I don't know, the 24-7 Or he's seven tapping mark. his foot under uh, the airport bathroom. Yeah. It's like. Are you not, are you seriously surprised by this? The guy who was uh, was he an- he was on the like anti drug gun thing and then found out he was smuggling guns and drugs yeah. through the South. <laughs> it's like it's like ah. it's almost one of those things where like if you want to be this thing, hide in plain sight and exactly. lambast this thing publicly as much as possible. But it's like but that 
like, it's just we're, we're catching on. That well, it's we've always known. It's when they it's when they mess up, or it's yeah. when it's when they do it, and nobody else gets a cut. I guess I don't know. Like the big building when they donate those buildings, I'm sure they're paying the taxes. I'm sure they're doing all that kind of stuff. Right. And then their their kids, their they who have probably gotten paid their entire lives and you know been home been schooled by you know special teachers and things some of them might actually be that intelligent but they get free rides through college or yeah. not free rides because their parents are paying buku bucks but you know you can't imagine I, I don't imagine most of them are really trying that hard they're, Probably they're not. how are you going to discipline them their fucking parents name is literally on the building you're yeah. in yeah i mean like yeah um, what do you do what do you do in that situation yeah. if the people who got you make a fucking movie like how high where the kid's a douchebag but he's like <laughs> on the rowing team anyway yeah <laughs> but that, that kind of shit and again how high good example we this we know this shit happens right like we we, we it's, I am it's aware. been a thing yes it's the same thing i said with the fucking me too and the harvey weinstein stuff yeah this is, we We've known this is happening in Hollywood. Just now they've actually got and it's to the point where the culture has shifted enough where no, that's wrong and we're gonna do something about it. Yeah, that's kinda it, what it is. It's no longer women women aren't broads anymore. Exactly. Women are it's people. not accepted. It's Who not a fucking thought. It's not like we're joking it, you know, we, you know, they joked about it for years and it's almost like those jokes were trying to get people to realize how fucking awful this is. I mean, yeah, humor is definitely one of those things that can bridge that gap without yeah, being shocking or overly shocking because you sit there, you make that joke. It is the cult. It's like the cultural way of. It's like the anti. I don't know what words I'm looking for, but it fucking comedians, like I have actual no idea comedians, what you're to say. <laughs> actual comedians can say it better. But they're the ones. They are. Comedians, philosophers, they, for ever since we're going back to ancient times, yeah, they are the people who are. They 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 poke fun. They make light of the serious. Yeah, topics. they're pointing out the serious shit, the crazy they're shit. They're shining that's happening. the lights on that. Yeah, and nobody's really paying attention. Sometimes they do. Sometimes Some, that's yeah. how fucking um, what's his face got caught. Um, uh, 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 I have no the idea. pudding pops. Oh, Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. Yeah, he got caught because of um. That black comedians with the glasses who's on uh, on uh, Andre Andre whatever show, I wish I could. I'll look his name up in a minute here. But he's a funny ass comedian, and he Hannibal started talking Hannibal Burris. Yeah. yeah, he did a bit talking about Bill Cosby drugging women and having sex, raping them. And he's like, this is the, he's like, this is happening. And then turns out, oh shit, this is really fucking happening. Yeah, like good um, on him for doing that too. Yeah, by the but way. these like, people, like the the bitch from South uh, from Full House, who got caught, Lori Lawlin, they got caught by going, you know, the cheaper route, paying hundred thousand dollars to a guy who said like a, he's their contact. He, I got a guy type person, who I don't know if he's the one who got caught, where he was setting up where they were cheating on all of the entrance well, exams. Um, it was actually five hundred thousand dollars. Whatever it was, and. Hundreds here, of thousands. Here, here's, of thousands. A, here's a story that popped up that made me even bring this up. Yeah. She apparently lied. She agreed to a lie to the IRS that the five hundred thousand dollars that she and her husband paid to bribe their two dollars away in college was just donations. Yes. So yeah. they didn't have to pay taxes on that. So it's like, oh. Again, that's that's where you get caught. Is the IRS doesn't get theirs. The government doesn't get theirs. And I mean, that's how they caught. Um, what the hell was his name? Al Capone. Yeah. They didn't get Al Capone on all the drugs and the tax murder evasion and. And all that, and and whatever else he was into, the yeah. he they got him on tax evasion. That's how most they weren't paying. He wasn't paying their part. Yep, he wasn't paying. That's why um, the IRS doesn't care if you're making a legal income. You still need to pay taxes on it. It's why the feds and people will work with like horrible gangsters mm -hmm. for a long period of time, as long as they're catching other gangsters yep. who aren't paying their taxes, who aren't doing their dues. <laughs> Whitey Which Bulger, I think, was one of them. Fucking, Probably, yeah. There's just so many. I love those are stories where I love hearing that. Like, yeah, those, those, those like the the, sh the shit that the government got into in the, I mean, over forever. But I mean, yeah. specifically in the like, you go from like the 40s and 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s when you're dealing with the South America drug trade and yeah. where we're given guns for drugs yeah. and we're down there fucking blowing up rival drug dealers and this is crazy, crazy shit. All right, so 
do we have any like like our bread and butter has always been video games? Oh yeah, yeah. I was going to talk movies. about movies. So do we have any video games or movies that you wanted to uh, kind of discuss right now? Because I, I do we... know, I do remember you telling me that yeah. uh, you fucking hate Just Cause Four. Oh my god, that game is so fucking bad. So. Um, the just I like the Just Cause series. I've yeah, been no, a fan I mean, since just the first cause, game. Just Cause, call, pfft, just Cause Two was always fun. Yeah, I mean, uh, especially when they came out with the super stupid buggy player multiplayer mod. Like yeah. I remember having hours of fun with that. Oh, it's it's like it, it's their games are polished enough. They have they have bugs like they're gl- a little glitchy, but most of that comes from the um, open world sandboxing kind the, of stuff. Yeah, it's a I mean, it, the sandbox, but in general because of the um, 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 physics engines cuz oh, they're don't crazy they, physics. Don't they use Havoc's phys- Havoc's phys- uh possibly? I don't remember. I think the new one had a different physics engine. Because I mean, ha- but, Havoc is very co- was very common for games back in that day. Havoc is what Skyrim uses. I, I think and, I mean, if you've one and played two Skyrim, did you, you yeah, or they had better physics engines than that because there's even more shit that um, explodes and goes crazy. And of crazy. course, uh, PhysX, which is yeah. Nvidia's physics engine, works well sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> it all depends on the version that they use. That's um, uh, that's the one that uh, Borderlands Two uses, yeah. uh, which is it's fine, but man, it can be really fucking heavy on on everything. Yeah. Like there's even a lot of particles going crazy. Tons like and one. tons of particles, and of course, it's got to calculate physics for every one of those little particles. Yeah. Anyway, back to the topic. Yeah, they um the the games are those open, uh, just destruction derby kind of games. Right, right? which it's, is al- always fun. The mercenary like games were the same exact. Um, it's like it's like a more way more open destructible, uh, Holy GTA. Shit. Um. Just Cause Two is on sale for a dollar forty nine. Yeah, Just Cause Two is fun as hell. Yeah. So Just Cause One comes out and kind of blew me away. Massive map, fun ass game. Uh, Just Cause Two keeps on with that. Yeah. Same yeah. thing. Just Cause Three kind of flipped the script and added a bunch of stuff like you can plant explosives and you always have the crazy shit where you have a zip line so you can fucking hook shot your way onto helicopters t- throw the t- pilot out yeah. fly the helicopters around do the same with tanks any vehicles um, you have a wingsuit so you can literally fly across the map uh, just the craziest shit and it's all a sandbox so the story's not the story's not great it's mediocre but a the big fucking sandbox craziness of destroying buildings and destroying um the uh, the army you know your your revolution you're starting and all that shit right it's fun as hell um and three three had uh three weapon slots you had two pistols at all times which was fucking funny yeah um uh, and then your two other weapons rocket launcher assault rifle shotguns it's typical for these games just kind of blowing shit up yeah but they would have crazy shit like a rocket launcher that would shoot out a mortar and then rain down little mini bombs all over the place. <laughs> they had like giant <laughs> mega rockets that created like multiple. Expl- it did. They had crazy shit, lightning guns, and then three added DLC. So the jet pack or the uh, the the wingsuit got a jet pack. So you were literally flying around with no. Uh, with nothing uh, holding you back, like right, you didn't right. have to worry Jeez. about f- eventually coming to the ground. Actually, that was hilarious because you could get all of the achievements for like go <sighs> riding in the wingsuit for a certain amount of time. Yeah. Those achievements still counted after you had the DLC installed, so you had a jetpack, so you literally couldn't fail. <laughs> <laughs> he would just be flying around and getting unlocking these achievements. It would be like your your score for wingsuiting across the map is going crazy. <laughs> like you wingsuited for twenty minutes straight. <laughs> How do you do that? Yeah. Uh, so you, you did it with a fucking. So four back. comes out. Um, every Just Cause game, the introduction of the game is buck fucking wild. Yeah. And that's kind of what they lean into. Um, I want to say the third game is the one where you start inside an aircraft. A couple seconds later, you're on the roof of an aircraft holding on with a fucking, like, a wire or a le- It looks like you're, like, a leash. Holding on to this aircraft, shooting missiles out of the sky with an RPG. And of planes that are attacking this aircraft. It is fucking crazy. Like, I think you end up jumping off at one point onto a missile. Wow. Like, the game's introduction is crazy, leans into the campiness of it. It's like the best kind of action movie type shit. Um, oh, you know what that reminds me of? We never watched Hardcore Henry. I did. 
Did you? Hard, yeah, I finally watched it on Netflix. Hardcore Henry is fucking cool. Okay. But um. Anyway, back to yeah, back to this the, the three uh, amazing intro. The game continues from there. It's fun. Um, story simple, but who the fuck cares? The missions are go here, blow this shit up. That's all you Which need. you're already doing because you're going places and blowing shit up. But I love the fact that, like, the mission can be like, oh, we need to infiltrate this base and destroy this thing. It's going to be pretty difficult. And it's like, yeah, sure it will. I know where there's a fucking helicopter parked. I'm going to go get in that bitch, fly in the base, and blow it up in two seconds. Right, And right. I'm going to blow up everything else because, haha, fuck you. And <laughs> That's the point of the game. So three st- – so I play, start playing four. Um, it starts with – a facility looks almost exactly like the building, some of the buildings in three, except not as nice, like graphically. Because I was already like, so this so is. A, so you're talking like a step is, down? Yes. Despite it being a new generation game. Despite it being a new game, uh, I'm like, this is a step back. And the cutscenes are fucking awful. From the get go, the cutscenes are not. Um, the audio isn't synced, the cutscenes are lagging. Behind just, the audio, that that would drive me fucking bonkers. It, man, they sit look, there and have like out of sync yeah. audio. And oh video. my god, every cutscene's fucking driving me crazy, and that's they're not like, long. That's like the hardest part of editing this video yeah. when I go into going into doing it is making sure all the audio lines up. And yeah. for me, if it's even like like a tenth of a second, yeah, I, I can't like, stand I fucking it. hate it. Which is why I'll do that clap at the end. If I yeah, if I do like if I do too many YouTube videos, I just forgot str- to do it at the beginning. Whoops. If I um. I'm sitting there and I have too many YouTube videos. After like the fifth one, I notice the audio starts lagging a little bit yeah. from the Chromecast. And that's when I'm like, okay, close it down, leave it for a while, reset the Chromecast, whatever. That's why I got my uh, shield. Yeah. I think it's fucking wonderful. So in the game, it's already like the first cutscenes are already like, oh my God, this is awful. Yeah. The introduction of the game, there is no, like, you're just at this base and you're just grapple hooking up the side. There's nothing, nothing interesting. No I mean, explosions. Okay. The character Something like this is definitely supposed to be light on story, right? Yes, but it's got to give but you at least a little bit. There's like direction. a weather control thing, and you're going up there to find it. And oh, your dad helped build this. The last game, <laughs> your, your home country was it was taken over by a dictator, and you're going to free Medici. And it's this whole just it leans into all of that. This game, it's like hey, your daddy was here, and he did a thing. You're gonna find out why your dad died, maybe. Oh, know. okay, cool. It's so fucking lackluster. And the voice actors sound like they don't want to fucking be there. I don't know if it's the same voice actor from 3 who does, um, what's the main character's name, Ricardo or something like that? I think um, so. I don't know. I mean, I have the fucking I game like the, open. In 3, yeah, they Rico. sound, Rico, yeah. They sound like they're having fun in 3. Like, he has one of the other side characters as his best friend growing up, and it's just this dude from Medici who's kind of almost like his Luigi. And he's hilarious. <laughs> Yeah. In this game, there's nobody. There's nobody like that. Like eventually, you when you it's all start, dead kind of it almost feels like it. Or just wooden as hell. The characters are not interesting at all. Yeah. The gameplay is fucking. It's a step down. There's less destructible things. Mm. Like one of the big things is the guard towers in three are destructible. So right. one of the fun things I did all the time was you have your grapple hook thing that you can attach to a bill uh, to something and then attach to something else and it will start retracting. Yeah. So yeah. I'd shoot three or four of them motherfuckers onto the guard tower while this guard's up there trying to kill me and just fucking pull the guard tower on top of all the other enemies and like <laughs> blow everything up. And it was hilarious. It didn't get old. This game, there's no, you can't destroy the guard towers. It sounds like this game, uh, like, I think we talked it's, about this earlier, it's like it, it suffers from trying to Go in a different direction, and uh, no, but I don't see it. There's no different direction. That's the thing. It's still the same kind of. Um, it, it feels like they're trying. Well, what I'm saying is like 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 we said with Crackdown, how Crackdown is just more Crackdown. Yeah. Where Just Cause Four doesn't have more Just Cause in it. It has less Just Cause. Yeah, in it, it has so less Just. So cause. It, it goes a different direction from the series and just ends up being terrible. It's it's legitimately like the game was. In, it's like that's the funny part is graphically it's not good there's no reason for the stuttering and things in the cutscenes because they don't look good yeah at all they look like a last I mean, gen that, they look like that, an Xbox 360 game that would be poor optimization yeah oh yeah. totally uh, by the way I'm playing this on Xbox One right um just Cause 3 I played on my PC but I've played it I've seen it played on on Xbox One as well and it had no problems right this game is like garbage like uh, it, the end game isn't so bad um, I didn't notice too many slowdowns when I was blowing up the few things that are destructible but I mean 
I've never, like I told you, I don't think I've ever played a series where the sequel was such a fucking downgrade. It legitimately feels like this game was an Xbox 360 throwaway game that didn't get finished that they decided to finish now. Um, so it's almost like, uh, oh, this was supposed to be DLC for a game. We just do stuff not, into it. I wouldn't even give it that. I, it, this feels like it was developed before Just Cause 3. Right. It okay. is such a poor, fucking terrible, terrible seal. That's why you I, brought up Crackdown. Crackdown 3 is... It, it's it's way better than this because at least it's more crackdown. They didn't they didn't like cut anything back. Right, right. Uh, they added to it. I mean, not much, but they, it was more of what you. It's more explosions, more shit to blow up. You know, it's the crackdown stuff. This is like they took away from the series and then they tried to expand on. Um, like I said, you had mines that you could set on anything. Right. And then you could turn those into boosters where they boost stuff up. Or they just blow up. You could do different things. This game has some of that, except it's all attached to the grapple hook. Mm. But there's no, like, I can't grapple a mine onto something or set a mine. So destroying things becomes way more of a pain in the ass, yeah. which is, like, the main point of the game. Because I no longer have mines. I have to buy. Eventually, you can get upgrades so that the the boosters will explode. Right. The problem is you buy the exploding upgrade. Okay. So it explodes when they're done boosting. They boost for a long fucking time, and then the explosion isn't very big. So then I would have to buy the upgrade to make it so I can turn down the boost level so they only boost for a couple seconds, and then it would explode. It's just, it's not it's not fun. It's like you you fucked my whole, this whole series up for me. I, are there microtransactions in the game? Uh, I, honestly, I don't know. It, so I think there are because when I first messed with it, there was some customization on, options on the front menu. Right. Like I could choose because I have played the other games, I can choose the old costume for the character. Right. Which is when I first was like, uh oh, because him in the old costume looked like a fucking downgrade from three, like a legit fucking Xbox 360 downgrade Jesus and, Christ, and i was man. like that's weird but i think there were uh, there it's just it's so absent from the game you don't even realize that there is a store right so i i'm, I'm kind of like what I, you're describing that doesn't is, bother is, me is too like, much is in-game currency transactions like kind of upgrades like when you're sitting there saying oh you could buy an upgrade to make the explosion but then oh you can buy no an no yeah no that's all in game that's you have to do missions and oh, okay, okay and then you can get that's this upgrade what, what, it's not like dlc that's no, what no, made no, no, me no. think of yeah. that like like you have to pay for that you yeah, know that would be so oh god that would be fucking awful i wouldn't be surprised if they have like a fast track thing so you can get all that immediately uh, but the missions are so uninspired i thought one that was going to be interesting one of the first things i did was this guy asked you to investigate some ruins all right. and, ruins um, are fine, ruins yeah, are good one of the things this series has done in the past and that this game seems like it's going to try and do too is playing around with the physics engine so when you're in, in doing this ruin a giant like boulder head shaped thing yeah. falls down yeah. and you have to guide it to the end as it's rolling down these pathways and it'll get stuck so you use the grappling hooks or the boosters and things to guide it down the pathway and I was like oh that's kind of interesting I'm going to do another one of these and I go and do it, and it's just fucking. It's not fun. It's no. it's already already way ruined. It's already like, okay, I see what you're doing here. This is not, it's not fun at all. It's just, it's just what the fuck were you guys thinking? So I'm really glad that I'm skipping this one. I'm so glad that I got it through Game Pass because when it came out, I was gonna buy it. Yeah. Um, and then I just I I didn't because I figured I'd wait for a sale, wait for the. Um, it, it to be on sale with uh, the DLC or anything like that. If Game DLC of the Year edition out. type yeah. thing, yeah. And then I saw Jim Sterling's review, and and I don't even know if I watched the whole thing. I just remember him talking, saying this game is fucking garbage. And then all the other reviewers were like, "Yeah, this game is fucking garbage." So I was like, <laughs> oh, "I'm not buying that shit." Well, I'm not spending my money there. Yeah, I just am still even even hearing those reviews and then people talk about it, yeah. I was still blown away yeah. by the just lack of fucking quality in this. It was like if Marvel had released Iron Man 3 now. like oh, that, Or, or wow. no, like Dark World. Oh, like yeah. Like for Dark World. That was such a step down, man. Oh, my God. It was it was bad. The like, it was, Thor was, was fantastic. It's not even, that's not even as bad as... It would be like if... If the they next Marvel Howard movie the was now. as bad as how, yeah, Howard the Duck, if they, um, if they took that Batman movie. v Superman, like something like that, bad. Marvel- Suicide Squad, <laughs> oh DC, yeah, it was something. It was so 
fucking terrible, man. Man. Such a disappointment. That's always that's always terrible. And that's like, Square. And I think Idios. If yeah, I'm not that, mistaken. That is, you are correct. That is I know Square, Square Enix yeah. and Idios, yeah. Which I mean, okay, they don't have the greatest. I don't know who record. the developer is. Uh, Avalanche Studios. I think they did two and three. They did. They've done all of them. I I can only imagine that they took and told them you have X amount of time to do this game, get it done. So or, you think they do you think they pulled an EA? I think they I'm hoping they did because Avalanche, like I said, they did a really awesome three was an awesome fucking game. Yeah. I, I mean, like I said, I, I definitely love two. I've had my fun with it. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, I think um I, yeah, it's Avalanche Studios. They made they made all of them and yeah. I, I could definitely see them doing that. Um, yeah, there's maybe, I, I'm maybe hoping not, there's some reason this is I then again I don't know because you look at something like Final Fantasy fifteen, which was in development for fifteen fucking years, or you look at something like Final Fantasy fourteen, where the initial release was so so bad, they took the whole damn thing down, scrapped everything and started over. Fourteen was the um, That was the that's the, the online MMO one. one. Yeah. yeah. It's still running today. Yeah. So I mean and, and everybody's happy with it now. No. But back in twenty twelve, twenty thirteen, whenever it first released, it was garbage. Well, I mean, you go to a game like um we've mentioned, you know, that we've talked about so far so launch before, No Man's Sky. It's just released in a trash state. And then it was released later, like twenty five percent completed. Yeah. And then you sit there, you get like uh, more like two years later, yeah. and now you've got the whole game. Now the yeah, game two is two years completed. later the game and then now they're about or, to release like an even another major update for fucking it. Destiny. Destiny's a pretty good example that I think that game ha- needed it's the DLC needed all of that to be a full experience, which is terrible. But yeah. one thing I got I still have to point out that I found hilarious was six months after it was released, it was in our value bin with all the DLC for twenty bucks. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, like I love that. Like on the one hand, it's funny, but on the other hand, it's like, oh, that's actually kind of cool. They recognize they fucked up, so they said, oh, you can have this now for cheap. Yeah. Well, I mean, they they still. When it that's even I don't know how many months that is after it came out, but they were charging I, I, yeah, they were charging know. sixty and more or sixty I think sixty for the gold edition. Yeah, it, I mean obviously yeah. it wasn't I don't think it, it might was have six months, months, but yeah. what I'm saying like like it was a matter of time, you know. Where, yeah, almost a year and everything's out. And now they're hey you can have it now it's it's fine it's cool yeah. you can keep it, but uh, so I don't I know dude I just care. yeah right like, I don't fucking care. Yeah. Um, Although I, I still have to play Destiny 2. Like, I have Destiny 2. I gotta play it. Yeah. It's one of those things that, I, that are on my to play list, and mm-hmm. I've not. <laughs> it's just that list of stuff I wanna get into. It's got like uh, 30 fucking titles on it. It's it's so deep. Like, it's like I got like Octopath Traveler on yeah. it. You know, I wanna play some more Momodora. I think that's what it's called. I don't remember now. <laughs> I haven't touched my Switch in a week. Like, except to, like, take a shit, I'll take it in yeah. there with me. I'm <laughs> playing Final oh, Fantasy hey, IX. Yeah. <laughs> or something like that, which I, I got to play that, too. I want to play yeah. that because it's a fuck. I want to play Final Fantasy VII, which, I mean, I, I fucked myself with that. Um, Well, not really, but because I was going to buy it anyway. But I said, you know, I want to play Final Fantasy. So I went online. And I was like, you know what? I got the money. Buy it. Yeah. Oh, I can't play it for two weeks because it doesn't drop until the 26th. Oh, it's not released yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm like, God sucks. damn it. Oh, no. Yeah, but I bought it, like, I don't know, like the ninth. Yeah. The fifth or the third? I don't. Know. I bought it two weeks ago, mm-hmm. so I can't play it. I uh, I got um, Devil May Cry Five, and I just I I played it for a couple hours. I need to play that game more. That game it's it's fun as hell. I mean that's the thing. I got Devil May Cry Three yeah. and Four both on my playlist. Like I have. To I might play. own those, but I'm just I know I'm not gonna play them. Same thing. Like I was gonna go back through and play the Metro One and Two. Yeah, I I, uh, I want to do that too. Before that game comes out, that was out one of those things. Right, I'm gonna go and stream that. Not gonna happen. Yeah, I mean it's like I don't feel like it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just I I'm so lazy with a lot of things. You know, I put so much energy into this. I put so much energy into everything around here. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm I'm I, I don't want to do. <laughs> on top of work, it's just I want to do on top of work and me. a full time job and and trying to like. You know, get out of this hole that I got put into. Like that is completely not my fault. I'm just tired these days. There's also it's like I'm gonna go do this, but eh, why don't I watch Netflix for a little bit or watch this? Try and catch up on some of these shows. Yeah, that's what I'm doing with yeah. Game of Thrones because I'm rewatching Game of Thrones because we got the new season coming out this year. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I need to catch up. And like I, I'm, I know I said this. I think I said this last week. There's so many things that happened in that first season that I yeah. didn't realize happened in the first season. So much setup, 
things that I thought that happened that I thought happened much, much later. It was like, oh my god. I know for a fact there's gonna be stuff where I'm watching it. And then they're going to say something or reference something that happened. And, and like, you know, three seasons ago, I'm like, wait, that happened? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Like, I'm just, that's that's probably going to happen. Because I was thinking if I watched anything, I might watch the last season yeah. again. Yeah. Um, because I already, at some point, we talked and fucking I mentioned Littlefinger. And you guys all stared at me for a minute. And they're like, dude, he died. And I was like, he did. oh, yeah, they did do that. They fucking chopped they his head off. Do it. Yeah. Like, or they... Slash his throat. Yeah, he slashes his throat. Yeah, throat. yeah Arya uh, walks over and just slits that motherfucker's throat. Spoilers, but yeah. I mean, okay, come on. <laughs> it's been a year, it's like year, a couple years. years ago. Come on. Um, like when they fed Ramsay to his own dogs, that was fucking that was satisfying. Poetic. Was fucking... Uh, oh, that that I think what so the... far has been the most satisfying death I've seen. I don't remember what was put over the audio of that. I watched a clip where somebody <laughs> did something. Yeah. Uh, over when Jon Snow is rushing Ramses and like blocking the arrows with the shield and then just starts beating the fuck out of him which is like what you wanted to see this entire season is just fucking Jon Snow beat this man beat this asshole to death with his fucking bare hands Yes, and that's what he started doing till Sansa's like let's feed him to his dogs Um, and it was I don't fucking the remember what it was bastards. it was goddamn funny though it was like uh, it was like maybe it was punch out sound effects <laughs> like from fucking Mario punch out I don't remember me, I need to find me it an, an idea and I might go get that clip and mm. add, add an Andy sound effects to it it was something like that it was so good I need to, or it um, might have even just been music and it was just it, Benny Hill theme <laughs> no, 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 no it was, it it was, it was <laughs> epic I do remember it was e- funny and kind of at the same time a little epic oh okay <laughs> but it was definitely just, not Benny Hill theme that then. scene yeah that scene is just so fucking great Oh, I you know I think I am gonna go look into that though. Like, it's, <laughs> depending on how lazy I am, because I've got so much. Like, I still have to edit our vlog. Like, you oh, know yeah. how many fucking like uh, uh, license plates I have to blur out? It's insane. Oh god, are we, yeah, that's still a thing. <laughs> yeah, that's still a thing. Like, I gotta do it by keyframe. So I'm but, sitting there advancing it by like two frames. Like, all right, move the thing there. I right, move the thing there, and I I, I like I fucking editing like three minutes of that where we go to uh we go up that hill and we go to turn up that hill yeah where we make that left and there's that those cars going by us and we had the van in front of us that was like that's like a three minute clip mm-hmm. it took like three hours to edit all of that out and that's i didn't so even funny. do a good job i got to a point where i started getting sloppy like fuck it just blur this whole corner here. <laughs> we just blur out the whole fucking back just end just of the fucking car blur this whole left blur side this, every time there's anyway. a license plate the screen goes fucking black <laughs> i could do just that gets, too it like, gets uh, pixelated as fuck i i but i'm sitting there like man i i fucking hate this it's and like of course Japanese you know porn. you know <laughs> the <laughs> and you know of course that um the software feature that I need to help me with that yeah. does exist in like Adobe or something, but we yeah. use Vegas because we can get it cheap every year. Um, the auto tracking feature that I would love to have mm-hmm. is in work. the next version. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's in the next version. Mm-hmm. So when we upgrade later this year, I'll get it then. <laughs> then we'll have it. Then we'll have it, and I can just say block this part out, and it goes. Follow this and block it. So, hey, if you guys are lucky, you'll get that video in like a year and a half, even though it was like six months ago. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, we'll just throw it up sometime when we can't make it to the podcast one week. Like, here, you just have this, like, I think it's like, I think I got like 40 minutes of footage Mm -hmm. of us dicking around. Yeah, here, have this and donate us. (laughs) (laughs) Actually, no, I don't even think we have that much. I think we have around 17 to 20. Yeah. Or maybe 20. I don't know. That doesn't surprise me. I mean, it was just like, oh, we'll film the car. And then we'll film the car. We don't know how to fucking vlog. I don't watch vloggers. I mean, that's fine, though. Like, nobody knows how to vlog. It's okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's Casey all guesswork. Nice a fucking billionaire. Yeah, but it's all guesswork. That's true. Until you get to that level. So yeah. we'll never be at that level. Or it's all just fucking, they come up with that shit beforehand. Yeah, probably. Like, And half of them are beating their kids or forcing their kids or doing stuff. Dumb shit. Recording them beat their kids. Yeah. <laughs> like, Daddy of Five. Oh yep. God. Piece that's of shit. That's so fucking despicable, man. I'm still so it's fucking an angry. But I'm glad that's over. That's though. where that kind of, um, you've got uh, the labor law, child labor laws yeah. have to kind of catch up with YouTube. And that, I mean, it doesn't even, it's not just affecting guys, pieces of shit like Daddy of Five. Yeah. That would affect, like, uh, that Jaden's toys. Like, how, what, oh, um, what level is that? Um, 
Oh, Jaden Toys or isn't it Jaden? No, it's, it's not, not Jaden. Uh, dude, no. the bad thing is, is I was walking into the back room uh, earlier today well, at work. I that. saw one of his toys up on the wall, and it was like one of these little like penguin chair things. You know the mm-hmm. chairs, and I I cannot for the fucking life of me remember what was written on it. But it has a name and logo right yeah. on the front. And I'm like, oh hey, good his for him. Toy, yeah, his toy review is like. I, 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 I assume that there's a lot that that is I mean, checked yeah, out there's with how f- big it is. Yeah. How much money can has come in from him? I mean, and what's the labor there really? You exactly. know, it's a he kid plays with toys. It's a kid doing kid about, things. Liking them. Yeah. Yeah. Opening like, toys and talking about the toys, and there's enough uh, money behind that where they have like sponsors. Oh and yeah. They, they have they have agents. I mean, everything's going to be on the up and up. Yeah. I, w- I would imagine with that. I mean, but yeah, like you said, child labor laws do need to catch up with that because like it's one of those things where it's so unregulated that YouTube had to step in and go, here's our rules for it. Make sure you're following these guidelines. It's this weird situation <clears throat> where we have the, the internet and it's nobody, it's, it's fucking, it's still the wild west. Oh yeah. And laws, have, copyright hasn't caught up. Laws haven't copyright caught up. We still deal with this question of like freedom of speech and all this shit and in, in social media, how bad is it for you? You know, oh, they're stealing your information, all this stuff where it's 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 all new. Yeah. We haven't got it. And yeah. honestly, I think where our generation we got it when we were not young young, but we got it in I mean I kind I, of I, grew into it. Yeah, like that that was me. Like I, I definitely grew with the technology. Like yeah. I, I mean I, I started think, off with Windows nine Windows three point one, Windows ninety five computers yeah. worked just barely would have internet connectivity yeah. like the absolute most basic but like my fucking fitness tracker here has more connectivity than old yeah. computers did so it's like you sit there and you look at that like they're just barely what they have is just barely barely counts and then now i'm here i'm in my 30s yeah. and everything in my house is connected to each other you know i can i can ask my Google Assistant out there to order food for me yeah. and have it delivered. Well, in our generation, like like you said, we we grew up with it. Mm-hmm. The generation below us grew up where it, it didn't. It, it's always existed. Yeah, it's the generations above us that have now they've almost been forced, or maybe not forced, but they're trying to get into it too, and they don't they don't get it. Whereas it was our playground for so long, where it was basically it, it, it controlled. Basically, it definitely comes second second nature to me. Yeah, yeah. Like to most millennials, you know, millennials hate to use the fucking term, but most millennials, it's just it's part of we. Okay, this is the thing that came out and this, we started. This using is it. us. Yeah, yeah. And that the older generations now that feel they've that they've got to get into it, and then they're trying to get their fucking grubby hands and controlling. Just that, that's the stuff that pisses me off. Yeah, it's like it's like uh, when you have religion trying to sit there and, and assert whatever and take people, white people's rights away because it makes them uncomfortable. It's like, exactly. Just stop. Just stop. stop. This wasn't the internet. wasn't here for you. No. It's just you're you're now joining Facebook. Fucking anti May. Fuck off. Hey, you leave Aunt May alone. She's a badass. I saw all right, fine. <laughs> she is though. I mean, you've seen Into the Spider Verse. She's fucking. I wonder. She, she fucking sprung in like yes, let's do it. There was um. I, when I was talking about Marvel with friends of mine that knew more, um, the end of the Spider Verse is loosely based on the ultimate, uh, ultimate comics because that's where Miles Morales came from, where Peter Parker dies, hey, yada yada, man. and then he comes back. When we get done here, we'll have a video to watch. Oh, okay. Another crap guy to D and D did one. Nice. Did one on Rogue. Shout um, which, by the way, He's guys, cool. if you guys don't know about it, uh, what's his name? Joe Cat. Yeah. He's a, he's a much bigger YouTuber than we are, obviously, because we have YouTubers. like 15 subscribers. We're yeah. YouTubers, in a way. Um, we produce content and put it on YouTube, okay? That's true. And we might be doing Pornhub soon, so let's, let's see what happens. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, he, he's, uh, he's got a series of videos, which is what really interests us, because we play a lot of D&D these days. Um, a crap guy to D&D, where he just talks really fast and really fondly about just how to play certain classes. Look, why are you playing? I'm with playing wax? with the wax because it's here, and I do it every time we've had it, <laughs> and I've missed it, and I've been able to do it because we haven't been here. He also yeah, did a crap like guide. Weeks. I don't even play Monster Hunter World. He did a crap guide to Monster Hunter World, and that's also <laughs> awesome. Like I don't play that game at all, but every one of those videos was fucking funny. So, um, all right, guys, I, I gotta be honest. What I was talking about. I'm completely run out of ideas. Before you fucking interrupted. <laughs> Shut up, Luke. I, I got a video to feed. about old people. Yeah, old people bitching about the old fucking people old the internet generations. suck. Go yeah, get yeah. off the internet. Fucking Uncle a Karen. cheap pie. <laughs> yeah, god. Fucking No, he's not out of touch. He knows exactly what he's doing. Yeah, it's money. He's, he's it's all money for him. Yeah. yeah. I mean Oh my god, the robocall stuff now too? Yeah. Oh, 
Those fucking assholes. John Oliver, like, he what he did. That's another good example of a comedian who sits at the kind of pull, pushes that shit into mm-hmm. um, what people are talking about. All right. Well, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and wind it down. Yeah. Because I'm hungry, actually, if I'm being completely honest with you. I got to go to yard work. And yeah. I'm hungry. And I'm, yes, eat the food. Food is a motivator. Yeah. Uh, give me food. I'll be happy. Um, <laughs> if I hate you, though, food's not going to fucking matter. It's so, not going to help. I mean, no. I'll take it. Maybe. And I'll still probably hate on you. I, I'll take it and like if you're someone I particularly heinously hate, I will throw it away in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> like there's, I move beyond the passive aggressiveness at that point and just fuck you, man. Just total aggressiveness. Just total aggressive. Go fuck off, okay? Um, but you know that that's it for us. We we sat here yeah. talking to a microphone for an hour um, or so. So we hope you guys enjoy our soapboxing and our word vomit that we do every week. Just the uncontrolled random shit we talk about. Oh, yeah. No, we go off the If fuck. you do. You know, we're, we're one of those things where we start off on a train, like yeah. on a track, and by the time we're oh, we're done, we're not even on the same fucking planet anymore. Like, it's we're amazing. on the same line. Um, but, yeah, if you guys enjoyed that, you know, check out other stuff that we do, which is nothing. Um, <laughs> well, we have a website, fuck. ungodlygeeks.com. You yeah. find all our social media links. We give away games and stuff on our Twitter, so go over there and follow the Twitter account get some free games. Yeah. Uh, currently, we're giving away uh, City Skylines, and it doesn't seem to be very popular. But, hey, if you're interested in that game, go find the tweet and retweet it. So maybe you'll win it. Um, but for the Ungodly Geeks, you know, I was Joe. I was Luke. You guys have a good day. See you all later. Fuck yeah.